Hush, mama. Hey guys, so this video is going to be a fun video about just some helpful tips on what to take to Jamaica on your next trip. So if you're traveling to Jamaica, either from uh, US, Canada, UK, wherever you're coming from, uh, hopefully these tips will help you in your packing and uh, your daily um excursions while you're in Jamaica. So obviously, first off, sunglasses and a hat. Um, so the sun is very bright in Jamaica, especially coming from the U.S. Um, up in New York, or the sun really isn't as bright as it is in Jamaica. So I usually wear sunglasses all the time when I'm in Jamaica, and a lot of times um, a hat of some sort. That kind of helps to keep the sun out of your eyes as well as shade your face, uh, depending on where you are and what you're doing. So that's a really great thing. Something that kind of goes along with that is sunscreen. So make sure uh, you have sunscreen for your face, your body. If you have kids, make sure you have um, a child-friendly version of sunscreen. If they're young and you use a little something different on them, make sure you have that. Um, and it's a really good thing to bring with you because a lot of times in Jamaica, buying sunscreen in the stores is quite expensive. So you can definitely get it a lot cheaper Um if you bring it from home, because if you think about it, that's not something that a lot of locals would buy in Jamaica. So they tend to raise the price on that uh, because it's pretty much something that only tourists or foreigners would buy. So make sure you have plenty of sunscreen uh, for your face um, and kids if you have them. One thing I found really useful is when I'm going on excursions or say we're going to the beach for the day is I will bring face wipes, um, like Neutrogena face wipes. Um, it's really great. Like if you've been in the salty water or maybe you've done an excursion and you've gotten sweaty, um, they're great to have just to wipe off your face or your hands or, you know, if your feet get dirty, something like that. Um, so those are really good to have on hand. Um, I usually also bring a hand towel with me wherever I go. So if I'm somewhere and I can, say rinse off my feet or if I want to wash my face, um, I have a hand towel that I can uh, dry off with. So I found that comes in very handy um, for different things that you do. Uh, the next thing you might find kind of funny, uh, toilet paper. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's always nice to have toilet paper with you. Um, I have encountered instances where people will you'll be at the beach and there will be a toilet there and they'll let you use a toilet, but they try to charge you for toilet paper. So if you have toilet paper, then it's free. So yeah, take a toilet paper with you. Um, it's always just good to have, usually in the morning, I pack a backpack, um, and take it along with me for whatever we're doing that day. And toilet paper just stays in my bag because let's be real. You never want to run out of toilet paper. Um, another thing is, uh, for shoes. So depending on what you're doing any given day, flip-flops are kind of my go-to, uh, because it is hot down there. I don't really like to wear tennis shoes. Um, so I wear a lot of flip-flops or sandals. Also, some of the excursions you may do, um, it might be helpful to have water shoes. For example, if you go to Dunn's River or some of the other excursions that are um, in water, but you want to be wearing shoes, water shoes might be a really good option. Um, if you're going to do any hiking or running while you're there, of course, tennis shoes would be good. And you may want to bring an extra pair of tennis shoes in case one pair gets wet one day then you can switch to your second pair and let the first pair dry overnight or if you need to wash them or something like that. So um, I found that really useful. Um, I prefer, I don't really do a lot of hiking, so <laughs> I really prefer the flip-flops. That's kind of my go-to for everyday use. Um, like I mentioned, I usually pack a backpack every morning with everything um, that I need and some of the things that I put in there. Um, I always have an extra change of clothes because you never know if you're going to get hot and sweaty um, doing something and then maybe you want to go get something to eat and you don't want to be wearing the same clothes. Um, you can change your clothes um, 
you know, in a bathroom or something. So I always have a change of clothes. I usually bring a beach towel along, along with my face wipes and, um, a hand towel. Um, it's nice to have a small towel as well for your face. Um, if you have kids like I do, you're probably going to have some sort of diaper bag. Um, so for them, you know, of course, diapers and wipes. And one thing I do, um, I've learned on different trips I've been to, not only to Jamaica, but other places is it's very helpful to put some items in gallon size Ziploc bags. So for example, if you're going to the beach or doing different excursions where you might be getting wet, um, pack a couple gallon size Ziplocs. Um, you can put like your chapstick, your sunscreen, so they don't spill on things if they get hot, um, and possibly melt. And also if you're packing a diaper bag for kids, put the diapers in the Ziploc bag, um, so they don't get wet. Um, cause if they get wet, then they're pretty much no good. So, um, also I put my toilet paper in the Ziploc bag so it doesn't get wet. So any items like that, that you want to protect, like your phone, your camera, anything like that, put it in a Ziploc bag, um, in your backpack. So if for some reason, um, you come into contact with water or it rains or something like that, you don't have to worry about those items, um, being ruined. That's pretty much all I had on my list, guys. Um, I found those things to be really helpful during my trips to Jamaica. And I would love to hear some of your um, items that you pack when you go to Jamaica uh, for different excursions or the beach. So I hope this video was helpful to you. And uh, let me know in comments uh, what would you add to the list um, that could be helpful to other viewers. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment if uh, you have any feedback or questions. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>